day 010. You respect yourself, your environment will do the same. Intentionally homeless rating, 3.7. Intentionalities, worked seven to eight hours on the jungle story, solid sleep spot, journaling, a rotisserie chicken, and muffins. Homeless problems. Eight once, no workout, no shower, cold as fuck in the morning. Woke up, cold as fuck, lol, once again. Might invest in some heated socks, <laughs> Because it's getting brisk out here. Of course, it takes about me about 45 minutes to one hour to get ready in the morning. But I realize that that's creating a discipline of how I need to operate when I wake up and go to sleep. For example, it was cold and my feet and body were numb. So I told myself I will just meditate later or at the gym instantly. Right when I got to Starbucks, it started taking up space in my head, telling myself I need to meditate. You'll, you'll pay the price of discipline or you'll pay the price of regret, whichever one. This is a very mac- micro issue that can turn big. Wasting energy won't happen again. Anyway, I walked out of the dirt alleyway and I'm seeing there's a bunch of trash and bullshit around. It wasn't a big deal until I saw a bunch of this shit trash cups at the beginning of the alleyway which right next to the community neighborhood where families live cars consistently are not only drive past this dirt alleyway but also but out of out of the out of this neighborhood i see a guy walking past me and he looks like he's homeless and of course it's his shit before i saw him i thought i thought to just get a trash bag and clean everything up i'll explain why after this uh, other example I get into the Starbucks ready to start editing my content. I see this man tattooed from the face down. He's obviously homeless, which isn't a big problem. Being being in Starbucks homeless because look at me. <laughs> Hello. He starts laying down full body sprawled out. There's one key difference between the alley guy, this tatted homeless guy and me. I respect myself. Seeing that I respect myself, I dress accordingly, black pants, collared shirt tucked in, my busty busty chucks, but that's that that are my busty chucks that are talking that are talking a little bit and it's good enough meaning that they're opened up and they're starting to to break through and i need to get some new shoes <laughs> i'm not getting kicked out of star the starbucks because i respected myself i'm not getting kicked out of the dirt out of the way because i respected the environment which in turn has others no give a fuck of what i'm doing they don't give a fuck about what i'm doing but if you leave your shit everywhere and even in spots visible for others to see, he's getting the cots called on him. Which means they will be on the watch for other homeless people, which means me. And I'm in the same dirt alleyway as him, so that means we're both getting kicked out. Bible lesson, you respect yourself, your environment will respect you. Footnote. I was, I was so fucking horny this morning. <laughs> I was, I was about to beat off. I remember how all the times I felt before this when I did consistently beat my dick, <laughs> how my sexual experiences, even just life experiences, have been more fulfilling when I haven't. I don't think masturbation is unhealthy, too, by the way. I think watching porn is. That consistent dopamine hit with no, no effort, no effort is unhealthy. I choose to get mine through life organically. I believe it is the story that you tell yourself in your head that makes it the most toxic. And you must make choices that benefit you and your life. And that is something that I have stayed disciplined to along this process. I spent, I spent seven to eight hours today just working on the first video I'm going to drop. All the Jungle Story social media play pages and understanding what I need to do with each one. It's a lot of brainstorming and planning that's going into this that I didn't expect because we live with no expectations, but I love it. I feel I'm doing everything I can to go after my dream. That's what matters. I used to have to be only 30% or 40% all in because my time and energy was taken up by work, partying, girls, or bullshit. Now, none of that is a priority. I am 100% 10 here. 110% here nobody can take that away from me I went to go to Walmart to get a whole ass rotisserie chicken for $6 then with some sweet baby Ray baby y'all gotta get it if you haven't got it then I just added some $5 muffins because that's my shit $10 a day even if it's $11 is my budget 
walk back to my dirt alley and boom, I'm knocked. See y'all tomorrow. Much love. Keep spreading it. Shot. Yay. Yeah.